A warm welcome to our benefits, candlelit carol service. During our opening carol, we here will be lighting our candles. So perhaps at home, you would like also to light your own candle. In this service, we will seek to discover the incarnation in our ordinary lives. We come to open our hearts and minds to the mystery of God, born as a child in Bethlehem. Through our readings, prayers and carols, we will trace the loving purposes of God, who comes in humility, laying aside all majesty and power. God, you stoop to reach for us. You give everything for us longing for our peace, our fulfillment, our joy. You give your very self, plumbing the depths of human darkness, bringing your light. You come in person as the child in a manger, word made flesh, God with us, incarnate love. We open our lives, our hearts, our minds. Show us how to see and love you in Jesus and in every human face. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. As the choir sing our opening hymn, let us light our candles as a sign the image of the invisible God. It is beyond our imagination to picture the creator of the immensity of the cosmos. How can our finite minds picture the infinite? Jesus shows us the human face of God. This reading is from Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 20. Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. 
For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, image of invisible God, fullness of all that is love, touch us now with your deep peace that we may be reconciled with you and with one another, both on earth and in heaven, as you give yourself completely for us. Amen.
A reading from the book of Proverbs, delighting in the human race. Holy wisdom shows us that God delights us in the human race. The Lord God created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago I was set up at the first, before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains have been shaped, before the hills. I was brought forth when he had not yet made her earth and fields, all the world's first bits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When he established the fountains of the deep. When he assigned to the sea its limits, so that the waters might not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the human race. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, firstborn of all creation, rejoicing in our diversity, delighting in our humanity, longing for our love. Touch us now with your joy, with fullness of life, as you give yourself completely for us. Amen.
child has been born for us. God calls us to fullness of life, abundant life, but we continue to make choices that mean we walk in darkness, sorrow and pain. But a child has been born for us, to be a light, to bring peace, to bring healing. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of darkness, on them has the light shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with you at the harvest. For a child has been born for us, a son is given to us. Authority rests on his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and hold it with justice and righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God. Child of the Manger, Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, Born for us in the face of violence and terror, Touch us now with your love, your healing power, as you give yourself completely for us. Amen. it be with me. God has created us to be free and accords us the dignity of choice, inviting us to cooperate in creation. Mary opens herself to God when she says, let it be with me according to your word. God works with us to overcome our fears, to allow us to become part of his life. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was perplexed with, but she was much perplexed by his words and pondered with such of 
greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of the ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born with will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also con conceived a son. And this is the sixth month of her who was, who said, who was said to be a barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be, let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, overshadowing of the Most High, impossible hope made possible, Son of God, incarnate love, Touch us now with your open invitation. Enable us to respond as you give yourself completely for us. Amen. And model. So much could go wrong. Human systems, power struggles, indifference. Life is cheap and births dangerous. God risks everything in reaching out to us. 
in coming to a child into the mess and muddle of our real lives. God invites us to do the same, to risk everything for love. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them at the inn. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, born into the mess and muddle of faceless, uncaring bureaucracy, experiencing closing of doors, shutting of minds, risking all for love of us. Touch us now with your profoundly simple presence as you give yourself completely for us. Amen. reading from the Gospel of Luke. The shepherds come to the manger. <clears throat> in that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, for all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them. 
about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, Saviour, Messiah, sign of our freedom, your birth broke down the barriers, crossed every boundary, included every one, giving good news for all the people. Touch us now with your good news, opening to us love that crosses boundaries as you give yourself completely for us. Amen. Magi visit the infant Jesus, taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a leader who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you have found him, Report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went with them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. 
Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Thanks be to God. Child of the manger, your birth was for all humanity. Wise magi and uneducated shepherds, near neighbours, distant foreigners, we come by various journeys to kneel and offer our gifts. Touch us now with wonder as you reveal yourself to us. Amen. The Word became flesh. In Jesus, God comes close to us, bends to reach us, and empties himself to become one of us. God invites us to recognise who we are, who other people are, and to share in the abundance of life and love that this unlocks. John unfolds the mystery of God becoming one of us, the Word made flesh. In the beginning 
was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was made nothing that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man, one sent from God, whose name was John. This man came as a witness, to bear witness concerning the light, that all might believe through him. He was not himself the light but was to bear witness to the light. It was the true light that enlightens every man that was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own people, and his own received him. But to as many as received him, he gave the power to become sons of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the word of God. Child of the manger, life shining light into the darkest places, life for every one of us. Empower us to become children of light, children of love, children of God. Touch us now with your true light. Enable us to open ourselves to you as you give yourself completely for us. Amen.
every year in the Bempis, we take a theme for our Christmas celebrations. And this challenging year of 2020, we have chosen comfort and hope. Comfort is an often repeated word in the Bible. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Today, it conjures up images of soft beds, hot drinks, and duvet days. But this is not the meaning carried by the biblical term. To comfort someone is to encourage, to strengthen, to draw alongside. It comes from the Latin com, meaning with, and forte, meaning strength. The message of Christmas tells us that God came alongside us, a vulnerable baby in a messy, muddled, uncertain world, to walk our walk, to be with us, and give us strength in life and in death. In hospitals up and down our land this year, nurses and doctors have assisted chaplains to read Psalm 23 at many bedsides with its beautiful verse, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. This tiny child, son of God, came to share every part of the human journey with us, life and death, in order to comfort us, to bring strength and peace. This year, as the last two, the Brownies have made a mobile to represent our Christmas theme. The hand on the mobile, their hands, represent comfort. This year, we have missed the reassurance of human touch. St. Teresa wrote, God has no hands but our hands to do his work today. Our hands, too, give and receive. On the mobile, the word hope is represented by the rainbow, the symbol which has brightened every window since mid-March, the promise of a brighter future beyond the pandemic. In the Bible, the first rainbow appeared after the ark came to land, and Noah and the animals emerged to start a new life. God promised there would be no more floods to wash away human wickedness. Instead, he would work with mankind to bring about his dream, a world where poverty and hostility are replaced by loving, caring and sharing. Christmas reminds us that Jesus was born into the muddle and mess of life bringing healing and hope to poor shepherds and wealthy wise men. In the 2,000 years since his birth, Jesus has been born into human hearts, bringing healing and hope, that we may work more closely with God until his dream becomes our reality, a world where there is no more poverty or war. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The question is, will you make room in your heart this Christmas for Jesus to be born? Will you kneel at the manger and receive his comfort and hope. Will you allow his light to shine in your darkness so you can carry that light to 
your world in me. Jesus invites you and me to come and be part of God's dream for the world. That is the true joy of Christmas. So In the following silences, let us lift to God those people who are on our hearts, particularly at this moment. Amen. Let us lift those situations that are weighing on our minds, particularly. Amen. And let us lift to God what we are thankful for. Amen. And we draw all these thoughts together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Spirit, who awakens us to life's mystery, bring us your blessing. And may the blessing of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and those for whom you pray, now and always. Amen.